Hey guys, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. Have a look behind me here guys, I am super pumped. My brand new style X7 combo has just arrived and landed in my garage in my home machine shop. So it's been a really hectic week for me guys. Uh, the machine was delivered on a Wednesday. Um, I had to uh, give the operator a little bit of hand to unload it via the crane truck. I'll throw some footage in here now. Now, once the machine was unloaded off the crane truck, I covered it with a blue tarp because I knew I couldn't touch it for the next couple of days. I had to wait for some of my friends, so uh, Peter Michelini from PM Customs, Peter Pillbeam from uh, Machining Tips and Tricks with Peter Pillbeam, my good mate Wayne and my good mate Mick to come over on Friday to give me a hand. Now, uh, moving this machine is no easy feat. Roughly weighs uh, 1,300 kilograms. Now, to do this, I had to hire a forklift and actually get the forklift delivered here to my house. Now, as soon as I opened the crate, guys, I did a thorough walk around check of the machine. And I must admit, I'm very impressed with what I saw. Okay guys, we've uh, got it out of the box. Let's have a quick look. There's the uh, famous Sile brand. There's the head, twin coolant nozzles, uh, umbrella style tool changer. We've got a little tool kit. Uh, they've thrown in a BT30 collet chuck for me and a pull stud. The manual pulse generator. Now this guy's, this controller is an LNC controller from Taiwan and it's all Ethernet based. All right, as we come around, that's where the manual pulse generator plugs in. Their doors, guys, have been, they, they so I must know about um, coolant leaks with doors, so notice they've pre-drilled a couple of holes. Now, my other machine didn't have that. Okay, let's go around the back. Now, down here, guys, I actually, I thought I might have got lucky and uh, got a free rotary axis, but anyway, when, upon opening it, it's the transformer by the looks of things. This must be where the power connects here. Now in Australia guys, all electrical, uh, with the Electrical Act, it must com be CE compliance. And you can see how neat everything is here. It looks like a VFD guys. And then we've got the Ethernet servo drivers. Now to get a good look, how's this? All the manuals enclosed. Programming and operation manual and just take a look at the size of that servo motor it is a monster okay what I like here it comes supplied with an oiler as well as a filter for the air and over here it looks like the tool changer solenoid and there's our oil reservoir there guys alrighty well let's uh now listen when you get your machine don't forget to undo the bracket 
up in here that holds the tool chains there may be another bracket on the bed as well okay and then I got my good mate Peter Michelini to drive it and operate it pick the machine up and try and get it into my workshop here now guys it's just missed my roller door and I'm talking uh, probably about a quarter of an inch so just over six millimeters clearance that we just got it into my workshop here Now to top it off guys, I had Mr. Zhu Xiao fly, flying in from China on Friday morning, so I had to pick him up from the airport, drop him off at the motel, run back home here and help the guys to get this machine in here. Uh, it was really good of Mr. Zhu Xiao to come over here. Um, he came to Melbourne first and then we drove him to Canberra to meet some other users. Now while I was in Melbourne, he uh, no doubt met myself. He also met another Sile uh, customer called Tung Nguyen, who's bought an X7. Um, now in the next couple of weeks, guys, I'll have some other footage coming out uh, of these style customers, so style customer success stories. One will be Tung Nguyen's uh, mill over in the other side of Melbourne. And one of the other users, of course, is Alistair Phillip Folders, who's a knife maker up in Canberra. So keep an eye out on the channel. Uh, make sure you've subscribed and tick that bell uh, so you get further notifications. Now on this Saturday morning guys, I had an open house and I invited a few other YouTubers around uh, and other uh, friends and associates to come over and check the mill and to meet Mr. Zhu Xiao. The, one of the other special guests I had here guys was Mark. Now Mark Bridgman runs a company called Phase Change Converters Australia. And uh, I'm currently using one of Mark's uh, phase changes to run my machine here in the workshop. Now. I have fired the machine up, but I haven't done any cutting yet, guys. Um, I only got back from Canberra pretty much last night, so it's about a 14 hour round trip in the car and uh, to take Mr. Zishow up there. But I've turned the LNC controller on, and from what I say, guys, I'm very, very impressed. Um, not knowing much about LNC, um, but what I do know now, guys, it's all ethernet connections. You never have to hone the machine. It's an absolute closed loop system. Whenever I turn on, it knows exactly where it is. So how about now, guys, I flick over some other footage. Hey, guys, it's super exciting here at the moment. Um, we've just powered up the machine. I've got uh, Mr. Zhu from Sile, who's flown all the way over here to, for the commissioning. I've got Mark Bridgman from Phase Changes Australia, okay, who supplied my eight kilowatt phase changer today. And I've got my good friend and mentor, Dr. Tony Picacci, the me as well, who used to uh, teach me at university. We've got some other YouTubers here, so we're uh, really excited. It's all powered up. We just honed the machine. Touch wood, it just made it in the Z height under the beam. Uh, I have a chainsaw here. I was going to send Mr. Zusha up on a ladder to cut the beam out, but we don't have to do that now. So thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing video. And uh, if you've got any questions about soil machines or phase change converters, so if you want reliable three-phase power for your home and you don't have three-phase, you need one of Mark's units to power your soil CNC machine. Thanks, guys. See you next time.